Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial for Sci-Fi Ship Controller. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use the control tab to further refine the flight characteristics of your ship to fit the specific needs of your game, with specific examples of a number of different kinds of ships. This tutorial follows on from the SSC Basics tutorial, so I recommend you go and watch that tutorial first if you haven't already. At the end of the SSC Basics tutorial, we ended up with a simple ship that flew in a way similar to the majority of spaceships in science fiction films and the like. Now we'll be looking at how you can change the behaviour of your ship to suit your particular game type. Going into the Control tab, the first option we'll be looking at is Limit Pitch and Roll down here. When we created the first ship in the SSC Basics tutorial, we made what's known as a Six Degrees of Freedom ship. In other words, we made a ship that can move and turn in all directions, including rolling completely or flying upside down. But in some games, for instance when you are flying a plane in a simple game, you want to restrict the possible movement of the player to only pitching up and down and turning left and right. In this example, turning left or right would cause the plane to roll or bank in those directions, but this would be controlled by the game and not by the player. Another example of a time when this behaviour is useful is for a hovering vehicle. Again, you only want the player to be able to turn the vehicle left and right, not to be able to control the role of the vehicle. In Sci-Fi Ship Controller, we can implement this kind of behaviour by enabling Limit Pitch and Roll down here. Once you enable Limit Pitch and Roll, you can see a number of options appear which allow you to tweak the behaviour. Max Pitch and max turn roll allow you to control what pitch and roll angles the ship is limited to. For instance, the default max turn roll value of 30 means that the ship can only roll a maximum of 30 degrees to the left or 30 degrees to the right. Likewise, a max pitch value of 15 means that the ship can only pitch a maximum of 15 degrees upwards or 15 degrees downwards. Pitch and roll speeds simply control how quickly the ship turns to meet the input. As I said before, when limit pitch and roll is enabled, roll is controlled automatically by the ship. However, you can control how the roll is controlled through the roll control mode parameter. By default, it's set to your input, which means that roll is controlled by turning left and right. You can also choose strafe input, which means that the roll is controlled by the left and right movement input of the ship. You can see an example of this in the Endless Flyer demo by going to SSM, Sci-Fi Ship Controller, Demos, Scenes, then clicking the Endless Flyer demo. Going into Play Mode, we can see that the left and right arrow keys move the ship side to side instead of turning left and right. When the ship moves left and right, the ship also rolls in that direction. This is because Roll Control Mode is set to Strafe Input. The other option we can change in the control tab is stick to ground surface. This option only becomes available when limit pitch and roll is enabled. Stick to ground surface is useful for making vehicles that hover above the ground, such as the ship from the Endless Flyer demo we just saw. Another common example is a ship from an anti-gravity racing game like Wipeout or F-Zero. You can see an example of this in the anti-gravity racer demo, which is in the same folder as the Endless Flyer demo. Once stick to ground surface is enabled, a number of new options appear. Target distance is how far above the ground the ship will attempt to hover at. It's important to note that this is measured from the centre of the ship, where the transform is located, to the ground. Max check distance is how far the ship will check beneath it to try and find the ground surface. If it finds the ground within that distance, it will attempt to hover at the target distance. If it doesn't find the ground, what happens is determined by whether Orient Upwards in Air is enabled. If Orient Upwards in Air is disabled, the ship will behave as if Limit and Pitch and Roll was disabled, with the six degrees of freedom we saw in the SSC Basics tutorial. If Orient Upwards in Air is enabled, the ship will revert back to the normal Limit, Pitch and Roll behaviour, orienting itself to the World Up direction. Responsiveness determines how quickly the ship reacts to changes in the distance to the ground. Increasing responsiveness will generally allow the ship to match the target distance better, but increasing it too much can lead to a juddering effect. Max acceleration limits how quickly the ship can move to match the target distance, 
So in that sense, it is similar to responsiveness. However, increasing it too much will make the ship movement look less natural. Ground normal calculation allows you to determine how the ship calculates which way the ground surface is facing. Smooth normal is generally the most accurate method, but doesn't perform as well. So if you have a lot of ships all using stick to ground surface, it might be necessary to set most of them to use single normal, which is often less accurate, but will be better perf for performance. Ground layer mask allows you to set which layers in Unity will be detected as part of the ground surface. For instance, in this demo scene, obviously the ship should not try and fly on the walls of the track. So the walls of the track are placed in the transparent effects layer, which as we can see, is not included in the ground layer mask. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about Sci-Fi Ship Controller, you can contact us in our forum or on our Discord channel. And that's all, thank you for watching.